Hey everyone, check this out. I'm showing you a humongous Christmas cactus, Easter cactus, that I bought on Palm Sunday, first day of spring. And look at the comparison with the flower. Um, if you look, this hangs down, and this is more like a cactus cactus type flower on the Easter cactus. And here is a Thanksgiving cactus. It's already, it already had bloomed um, back for Thanksgiving and also um, it was blooming up until March, actually. It even rebloomed. It bloomed in um, November, then it bloomed uh, back in last month. So I want to tell, show you the difference between the Christmas cactus, Easter cactus, and Thanksgiving. All these different holiday cactuses. Now, if you notice, okay, let me find a part here. Now see, this leaf right here is smooth and sort of, it's squared off with a little, little bit of rounding at the ends. And that is close to the Easter cactus. It's narrow like that, okay? But the edges are very smooth. No spikes. And the Easter cactus is sort of a flowery edging. Still smooth, but the foliage is thin, so they could easily be um, hard to tell the difference. But if you look at the flowers, they're entirely different than the Christmas. Both very beautiful. The Easter cactus flower reminds me of fireworks like sparklers. And the Christmas cactus flower hangs. And the Thanksgiving um, cactus flower is sort of similar to this, but it comes out more like, more like in a shape of a parrot. Now, if you notice, this Thanksgiving, now look how wide and they have sharp edges. Compare that with the Christmas. Christmas is smooth and narrow, it's slightly squared. Thanksgiving cactus is prickly definitely squared off. So they are the widest in the foliage than all three of these uh, holiday cactuses, which is Christmas, Easter, and Thanksgiving. So, uh, and these close usually at night. They sort of close up, but they've been staying opened pretty much but not as much as like this one right here that's fully that's fully opened right there now um, this became in full bloom about a week ago and the flowers they just keep on opening they're not dying and here's a new bud they're not dying on me, which is great. So they close up mostly at night and um, 
they open fully during the day. So um, I'm just going to move these out of the way. But this was a pale pink Thanksgiving cactus that I bought last year and it rebloomed for me around Thanksgiving time and then uh, February and March it just kept going and going uh, no sign of new buds on it very healthy plant and I also have another Thanksgiving cactus it's uh, it's red reddish color and that I had since 2012 and it didn't rebloom for me in 2013. It just rebloomed for me like 14 and then 15. Anyways, this Christmas cactus is so beautiful. It takes up the whole entire table and I don't keep them in here. I keep the Thanksgiving one and the Easter one in the kitchen where they get the south sunny facing window. This I keep in a back bedroom, a spare bedroom, but it's just so beautiful. Now, I rooted, this is actually an heirloom. It's, it's really, it's very old because I rooted, these are the original pieces right in there. One, two, three, four, five that I had rooted in water back in the year 2007. Then I made this into a, a plant, it took root, and the mother plant is very old. So that's why I said this is old. The mother plant is an antique, probably, probably 50 years old maybe. Maybe a little less. Maybe it's just vintage, but it's definitely very old. 40 plus years was my grandma's. And that plant doesn't really bloom anymore. It stopped blooming about 12 years ago. But this is incredibly healthy. I mean, it's just constantly uh, growing. I mean, it's just little new shoots on the stems. It's just... It's a gorgeous plant. I'm very blessed to have this and it's been blooming for me amazingly every year since 2012. It did not bloom from uh, 2007 until 2012 for me. It probably likes where it is better in the sunny south facing window in a cold dark bedroom. Uh, here's the other part of it. It's just, I mean, it's it's huge. I mean, you have to really, wow, you have to really be here to see how huge this plant is. It's just gorgeous, in my opinion. I don't want to turn it around too much because I don't want to hurt the flower on it. But anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope you... I hope this helps some of you identify the Christmas cactus, the Easter, and the Thanksgiving. And um, thanks for watching, and have a great day. And please uh, subscribe to this video for more, and do share. Thanks again.